Dave, this is uh, a new machine from Herco. When was it launched and what is it? It was first launched in Emo last year. It's a um, 600 size rotary table, trunnion type table. It's more the sort of popular conventional design for large five axis parts. Why did they introduce it when you've got so many five axis machines in the range? Yeah, it really depends on the application, so the type of work you're doing. Um, what's attractive about this type of machine is you can get in very close to the part, you can do all sorts of changes, adaptations, whatever you really need, and you can really, um, can really work well with the machine. It's got a very good capacity in terms of weight. and, and It's very ergonomical, I can see, by leaning in here. What about the actual speed of the machine? Is it fast? Uh, yeah, it's quick, it's quick. It's 12,000 RPM, um, 35 meters rapid, um, 40 station tool changer. It's very high specification machine as well. Um, linear scales as standard through spindle cool and things like that. And this is going to be a popular seller for you? Yeah, we think so. Um, it's um, We've been sort of launching it around Europe. Um, this one we've had to borrow from Germany. Um, they're sold out this year. And so I just borrowed their demo machine to show people what we're bringing out in the future. OK, we're going to make a comparison now and look at one of your other five axis machines. Yeah, that'd be great. So, Dave, we're now at the VMX42 SRTI. So what is the difference between this and the other five axis? OK. They're, they're both five axis machines, they've both got a 600 millimeter table. Um, the big difference here and why we like this configuration so much is it gives you a lot more flexibility. So when you haven't got five axis work, you've got a full capacity meter by 600 three axis machine. Also, with the table in the center, you can actually overhang the table, so you can use, you put larger parts on, so long as they don't hit the surround of the machine, you can actually swing a, a, even up to a meter in size. So if you were to take the two machines that we've looked at, will you sell more of this model than the other? This is what we're finding. It's good to have the range we do in 5-axis. Um, we're actually showing four different 5-axis configurations at the show. What we're finding is this is quite a unique Herco design, and we're finding this is proving the most, most popular. The costs, costs are similar, but this one gives you a good lead into 5-axis. If, if you're never sure what the next job coming in is, it gives you a bit more flexibility. So what we have got is a B-axis head and an integrated C-axis table. Yeah, that's correct. They're all direct encoded, torque motors driving the rotary axis, so everything's quite quick and precise. And when making a comparison on the two machines that we're looking at, is everything like the spindle speed, the tool changer, is that all comparable or the same? Yeah, everything's pretty much like for like. 12,000 RPM is standard here through spindle coolant, 40 station tool changer. And what are you actually machining on here? We're, um, yeah, we've got Darth Vader's helmet going on. Um, it's quite a nice, it's a long program. We used OpenMind software for it. Um, but what you see is you see a really nice surface finish coming off. And, it, and as you can see, there's a lot of undercuts, very complex work going on. And are you giving them away? Yeah, <laughs> there are. There, we're only making about one a day, but um, it's quite, you need quite a big bag to take it home. That's the only thing I'd say. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Okay, cheers.